Hey everyone, it's Peter Drew here and welcome to the GMB Quote Machine software video tutorial. To install the software just navigate to where you download the software, double click on the installation file. It brings up the installation, I've already run it before so I'll just click on repair which is the same and it installs the software onto your computer. It only takes a minute or so. Click on finish and you're all done. Then navigate to your start menu. So click on your start button and generally the shortcut to the newer software will be up the top or you can edit your tiles like I have where I've got all my software here, GMB Dominator, GMB Activity Spy, GMB Goal Detector, G Sites Embedinator, Hangout Millionaire, our Google Blogger software, FB Life Pro, our Google Trust Tracker software, GMB Quote Machine, our Ultimate Map Creator, Twitter Citation and Link Monster software, and Google Site Indexer with Nitrous Linking. So just click on there and off you go. So this is an extremely simple software to use, but before we get into that, I'll just go through these tabs here. So under Tools, as you know, this software comes with one computer license, and if you buy the one-time payment, it comes with two computer licenses, meaning you can run this software on two separate computers concurrently. But if you want to, if you've purchased this software and it's running on one PC, but you get another PC and you want to run it on that first you would unauthorize click on here to unauthorize this software on this PC then you install the software on the second PC and then start it with your PayPal email address and it will start on the second PC but it won't work on this PC under extra tools you can see where you can purchase our other softwares Twitter citation and link monster the ultimate GMB map blaster software Google index the software with nitrous linking, the GMB quote machine, which is what you're looking at here, and all of our SEO softwares and GMB softwares are on our forum. And if you click on this link, it will take you directly there. And if you'd like to promote the software, click on this button and it takes you straight to our affiliates page where you'll get very nice recurring commissions or a nice big fat payment for each one-time payment for this software. Okay, so back to the software. On this page, there are two sections, the scan depth, which I'll show you, and also the keywords and locations that you enter here. So a brief, this is typically what I do. You grab your seed keyword phrase, put that in Google, and let Google tell you all the other related keyword phrases to your seed term, which you'd find down the bottom here. So we've got roof repairs and obviously we've got the location here's another seed term roof restoration so I'll grab that put that in the software scroll down see what other related terms we've got concrete tile roof restoration thank you very much that'll drag up more businesses and in the pull down menu here it gives you other ideas concrete roof tiles so I'll scroll down and see what else we've got I'll go back to the main one patio roof repairs Gold Coast thank you very much anything else down here of interest Patio roofing. Okay, that's enough for now. So, what we need is a niche and location. And to make it easier on Google, so the location we're entering in is for Google. So, Australia, roof restoration, Gold Coast. Straight. The more specific you are with the location, the easier it is for Google to give you those results. Concrete, tile, roof, restoration, Gold Coast, Australia. 
Paddy, your roof repairs all coast, Australia. So that's it. Now the scan depth is what I'll show you now. So we search for roof repair. What we're scanning are these pages here. And as you, as you can see, each number represents a number down here. So if you put two, it will scan here. And then scan this page as well. If you put three, it will, it will scan these search results here. Okay, so what exactly is it scanning for? It scans through each of these results like this and then it looks for those results that have got a business URL and then once it finds the business URL it the software then spiders this website and finds its email address and stores it in memory but what's even better than that once it only scans the GMBs that do not have the request a quote feature. Now I can't go into details to explain how we do that. It's incredibly technical, but just rest assured that it only contacts GMB owners that do not have the request a quote feature. So it stores the email to memory and then it continues through and checks each of these sites for a web address and if it's got a request a quote feature or not it stores all those it does that every time and it will scan down as deep as what you enter in the software once it's completed doing that it will then produce a pdf report like this so all of these results here have are qualified results in that number one they've got a business website and number two they do not have the re have the request a quote feature so we've designed this software because as you know it sends out emails to these prospective customers using the gmail that you enter in the software moving forward instead of sending a couple hundred emails all in one go what we do is we scan look find email come back scan look find send another email so we are using the scanning time as a buffer between sending emails which will keep our gmails alive forever and also reduce any instances of spam detection okay back to the software so in this instance i'll use two so we've got a scan depth of two these are the keyword phrases, click on next. This is where you enter the email subject. Here I'll refer to one of our awesome customers, CJ Boston, and this is how he completed this section. So what you'll notice here is the email subject, attention, incomplete business listing warning. And here is his email that went out, and as you'll notice, that that is HTML. So you can use HTML in your email body, which is awesome. Now, before you can use a Gmail email address in this software, there are a couple of settings that need to be changed. So for example, if you put that there, and when you add a new Gmail email address in here, the software needs to check that, it's, that the settings have been changed. And oops, this one hasn't been changed. So click on the support video and that, it's a one minute video that shows you how to make two simple changes and then it will work. So I'll get rid of that one. Put this one here. This one's already been checked. You can see the button's grayed out, which means I can progress. So the software will not progress unless it knows that the Gmail you're using has had the email settings changed to allow the software to use it. So you don't waste all that time with the software sending emails that won't work. That one minute tutorial video is on the download page, so you've probably already seen it. It's very simple, it takes under a minute to do the two settings changes to your Gmail account. So you click next. Now this is extremely cool. You'll see I've got my Peter Drew 
.NET email address there which is separate to the Gmail account I was using. So you can post emails from your Gmail account but have the replies come back to a separate email address which is extremely cool. So you can post from any Gmail account you like but they will all come back to whatever email address you put in here and the name of that email address will be exactly what you type in here. So this information is irrelevant to the Gmail information you use. So that means you can use any Gmail address that's had the settings changed to suit and what the potential leads will see is whatever information you put here. And so you can do a test, send a test email to make sure your HTML is compiled properly etc by simply clicking on this send test email and it will send this information to this test email by clicking on this button. Now also, now this test mode, awesome. Now this test mode feature is awesome. You can run a whole project and while running test mode, instead of the emails being posted out to the potential leads, they will all be sent to this test email address. So you can see how many emails go out, how frequently they come. You're just basically testing the whole system. And then you can run through the project again, uncheck that, and then it will run through perfectly. And here we are on the last page, the blacklist page. So here we have .gov. Obviously we don't want to send any emails to any .gov email addresses. We don't want to send any emails that have abuse in them or spam. So you can update that as you like and that will be saved in this field for next time. So you click next, click on start and off it will go. I'll just show you quickly. So there you go, there's the first term. Second term. And what you don't see is it's doing a lot of work in the background and collecting data. So I'll finish it up there. So there you go. Now you can collect as many leads as you like in any niche, in any location around the world. Now all you need to do is have the software tools to rank these GMBs locally. So we've got the Google Indexer software, the Ultimate GMB Map Blaster, Twitter Citation and Link Monster software, and our biggest and most powerful software, our GMB Dominator, which are all available on Pete's Traffic Suite.com.